Hello, I'm Haldo Richards from the Game Train, and god fucking damn it, we're finally here. I wanted to play this game for quite a long time now, but there would always be something else in the way. But now that there is nothing in the way stopping me from playing this, let's play it. This here is Evolva. Not to be mistaken with Evolve the inferior piece of shit game that shares a very similar name and what this game is all about we'll find out very very shortly because I'm not a fan of talking over menus let's get straight into the action as you saw in the intro something is uh, happening and we should probably do something about it but first now that we are well, here at this menu, you might be wondering, what the fuck is this shit? Uh, aliens? Types? What the hell? <laughs> well, that's kind of normal. The first time you pick up this game and you start, you start up a new game and you don't even know what the hell is going on. Well, the game kind of explains it. But first you need to get through this menu first. So let's get straight to work. First of all, in Evolver you play as a group of operatives from the team called Evolva. Hence the name of the game. They are professionals at doing things which the humanity has mastered, which is genetics. In their case they're the masters of on the spot, on the fly, genetic mutations to adapt to the environments and fight evil shit. Perfect for every situation. And we currently have a team of quite diverse specialists. Kind of, kind of getting some uh, Project Eden vibes here, but uh, don't worry, it's nothing like that. First of all, we got ourselves a team name. Let's choose the team name. Now here you can type in extra stuff I think. I think that's how you write it. And you can get some uh, extra things unlocked like a first person mode or something. But they're not gonna do that. Let's just go with the best name of all time. Team Cool. And now for the other bastards. Our operatives here are called Geno Hunters. They're human. But they have these, um, I'm not sure if these are supposed to be like suits or are they just engineers to be like that. I think they're suits. I don't remember. I, I don't really actually know. But uh, it's pretty safe to assume that they're human because it's the humans who mastered the genetics as the manual suggests. They mastered it to such a ridiculous degree that disease and genetic failures it's a thing of the past you were born with too many chromosomes no problem we can fix that right on the spot really they are the masters of genetics there's nothing else to say about that seriously I'm getting mad vibes from Project Eden for this <laughs> the Geno Hunters come with their own types and their looks, the looks are purely cosmetic as far as I'm aware, but the types, they're definitely not. However, they're mostly related to how the AI works, because this is a team-based game. You'll be playing with all four of these guys while controlling one of them at a time. So what the AI will be doing is dependent on their type. Right now we got Agile. Agile is just the best at dodging shit. Think uh, Dark Souls when you have uh, an agility build and you're able to dodge things flawlessly. It's pretty much like that. Maybe, maybe not able to dodge everything flawlessly but he has the greatest chance of dodging stuff. He also has the best jump. Which we will find very useful. Why do they all have these <laughs> bow-legged legs, you know, like the bo nah, whatever. It's, it's kind of like they have hoofs and shit. Maybe they didn't want to make real feet. Ah, who cares. 
they look alien enough we should be able to blend in with the environment so naturally because this is an agile character we have to call him shinobi like you know like the ninja from revenge of shinobi and shinobi 3 return of the ninja master now we have speed he's the weakest of the Geno hunters but also happens to be the fastest of the Geno hunters so if you ever feel like exploring before sending your whole crew in you know just to make sure you don't run into a trap or something you want to go with a speed type he's the fastest he can run away in case of anything uh, of course uh, unless the enemy if there is an enemy of course has some kind of a ranged weapon since he's fast he has to have a proper name as well and a proper coloration although I'm not sure why we are allowed to choose the color right from the beginning because that will become very irrelevant very soon well we got the heavy type now and uh, if it wasn't obvious by now the heavy type is heavy it's big it's slow and it's got a lot of brawn it's not gonna die nearly as easily as all the other types of our Geno Hunter crew but that doesn't mean that he's going to be the best at just moving around he's the slowest but he can also dish out the most pain and he can take the most pain but that doesn't mean that he's a tank keep that in mind he's not that much tankier than the rest of the team like you could take a couple more hits than the agile or the intelligent type but that's about it it really depends on uh, the weapon that is being used on him like if somebody's punching him he's probably not gonna feel it but if somebody were to use uh, let's say some explosives or something like that yeah he would feel it he would feel it hard oh, I don't have any <laughs> I don't have any good names for this guy so I'll just go with Kuzano from Streets of Rage Remake and then there's the intelligent type the most elusive type of them all because nobody really knows what that is well except for a couple of individuals a little research has told me that intelligent types of the Geno Hunters simply have the best aim and they're kind of a mix between agile and speed so they're kind of fast they're kind of agile they can kind of jump but they have the most accuracy that's what makes them stand out they have the best accuracy so once the AI takes them over you can definitely be sure that they'll make their hits count let's call him Brainiac give him a green color too I want more green yeah yeah boy very green I would have gotten this uh, this damn video out a lot sooner actually but uh, you see this game has a bit of an issue I'm not sure if it's just fraps it could be other recording software but uh, whenever you get to a loading screen it just freezes and it freezes so hard it's really hard to get out of the game without uh, restarting the computer entirely so if you plan to record this note that you'll have to stop the recording process before and well before the loading screens after the loading screens it's alright it's alright but before the loading screens watch out it's gonna happen you're gonna get some mad uh, crashing and shit I learned that the hard way I lost some good footage but uh, let's not dwell on the details too much now that we got our team of Chino Hunters, it's time to learn more about the plot. Because while we did see the intro, it didn't really tell much. I mean, uh, some kind of an egg fell down on the planet, started doing shit, and that shit spawned some spiders. And the spiders 
went on a murder spree in its immediate vicinity. What's up with that? Well, let's find out. The probe has detected planetary debris containing biomatter entering the X-92 system. Contact with the debris was lost when it entered the atmosphere of planet X-92-3. Guess we couldn't decide if it was 92 or 93, so we went with both. Twelve hours later, the probe recorded a significant increase in seismic activity. Explains the tentacles, I guess. Analysis suggests that these events may be related. Deploy your team of Chino hunters. Absorb sufficient indigenous wildlife to adapt to the environment. Yeah, that's the name of the game, but we'll get to that in a moment. Locate and assimilate any non-indigenous biomatter to aid further analysis. And objectives, well, you can read that if you want to, but that's not necessary. We'll get to see them in the game anyway. Before you start, you can take a look at your planet. It's divided in several regions, which we can't really see right now. Like, there's a little outline every now and then, but that's not really it. You can kind of see what the planet looks like. It's kind of low res, but that's okay. The mission area is indicated by this red outline. That's where you'll be walking around, so you can kind of pick up the scale of the planet like this. I'm pretty sure that the mission area is downscaled tremendously in comparison to this, because if this is how it actually is, like this is how big the actual mission area is which, which will be, we will be in, then this planet is quite small. <laughs> This plan is quite fucking small, but you'll see what I mean once we hit that accept button. Once you feel like you're ready, accept the mission, and let's get the fucking move on. That's odd. Don't do that. <laughs> Alright, we started the game, here we are. This is how the game looks like. Not very impressive in today's standards, but in the days that Evolver was a thing, looks pretty good. This also comes with a bump map patch, so it actually looks a bit better than it actually used to. Along with a few other things included, like actually being supported properly on Windows 7. Okay, so we got our team of Geno Hunters. At the bottom portion of the screen, you can see three PIP views, which allow you to see what the hell is going on around your teammates, and the crew member that you're controlling will instead have a radar. Let's have a look at the radar then. What does the radar say? Let's move these guys away a bit. A bit. Well, there's the N. That's just the north. You use that for, you know, navigation purposes. Then there's the O. That's objective. You go there to do things. And then there's the numbers, which indicates the locations of your teammates. To start, press T. It'll group up all of your teammates. You will know that your teammates are grouped up if you see that little ring on their PIP views light up yellow, as it is right now. If it's not lit up, your teammates are not following you. They'll just be standing around idling like a bunch of bastards. Not sure how consistent the frame rate will be on the playback. All I know is that sometimes the game goes into 60 frames and sometimes it doesn't when recording. Or maybe it will stay on 60 frames, I don't know. The thing is, it's only on recording. When you play normally it doesn't drop frames or anything it's very smooth because well it's an old game it's supposed to be smooth how can you have an old game that's not fucking smooth it sounds weird all right hmm i'm not sure why i went to it <laughs> actually <laughs> but whatever the controls are pretty simple actually you can pick them up right away oh before we continue on that a indicates 
food that you can eat or material that you can absorb like these things they are used to heal up but yeah the controls are very simple you move around with WASD and uh, well you use the mouse to move the camera around obviously but uh, then you're wondering what other controls could there be well you use the left mouse button to attack and you use the right mouse button to jump I believe you also use the mouse wheel to switch out weapons but that'll be a thing for later we don't actually have any weapons right now go through this cavern and beware of these exploding watermelons I at least think they're watermelons where's the other guy? here he is but yeah avoid them because they kinda hurt plus they're explosive 